Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 3535. Oh wow, I'm so derp. Anyway, we got some news for you this week. And first up, Queen Chrysalis and Princess Kaden Kotobukiya Bishojo figure incoming. Uh, I know I'm not the only one who thought Kotobukiya was done with ponies. Uh, but here we are, two years since we last posted them with a brand new teaser for both Queen, uh, sorry, for both Chrysalis and Cadence. Uh, they don't have any prototypes or even concept up yet, but the announcements say they are currently in development. We will keep you posted anyways. So yeah, if you guys seen the Kotobukiya figures, you can guarantee that these figures look really awesome. They look really good and um, they're worth the money. Unfortunately for me, um, they don't come here locally, so it's a bit of a hard to get kind of item. Uh, probably they do if you know where to look for them. But all in all, uh, it's good to see that they're still making them. And follow up with that, Kotobukiya Pinkie Pie gets a re-release in January 2025. If you missed the Kotobukiya Pinkie Pie figure from years ago, they have announced that they uh, that they are sorry that they will be uh, another round of them in January with pre-orders available now on their website. She is currently up for seven thousand six seventeen thousand six hundred yen around a hundred and ten dollars uh, pick her up over in the links if you want her expect uh, the rest of the main six too so yay uh, it seems that Pinkie Pie is getting re-release re so from what I can tell that yay um, the brand uh, the pony thing is still a go because uh, certain countries like China is kind of booming in terms of uh, the pony thing and a lot of people probably slap on the first batch and kind of like oh I, I kind of want uh, new figures now uh, is there any chance to get them and it seems that not only that we'll be getting Chrysalis and Cadence we'll also be getting re-release of Pinkie Pie and by the looks of it, if this sells well, we might get the main six later on. And don't forget, there's Sunset Shimmer and the two princesses. So yeah, th they are a lot of ponies to get. And talking about, uh, sorry, talking about um, more ponies and princesses, Symbiote Derpy, Luna, Bonbon, bon, and Sunset at San Diego Comic Con. I know what you're thinking. This is old news. I'm sorry, probably I derp on recording, but still, um, there's a follow up. But still, let's let's get through this one first. Uh, joining the exclusive Trixie at uh, their event this year, Symbiote has four more ponies to show off at their booth during San Diego Comic Con, including Luna, Derpy, Bonbon, bon, and Sunset Shimmer. There isn't a whole lot of convention for ponies this year so swing by and take a look if you need some equine in your life more pictures below so this is pretty cool uh, symbiote studios have uh, good models and whatnot and yeah uh, you can get them now yay uh, available yay um, from what i saw of the four of them they're pretty cool um, Derpy has the muffins. Uh, Starlight has sunset. Sunset, sorry, sunset has her uh, coat and whatnot, and Kitty on both sides. One, one, two. So, yay, that's awesome. And Princess Luna, uh, she looks cool. Taller, I think. I'm not 100 percent sure, but yeah, she she looks awesome. Uh, she has her regalia and her flowy mane. So that's also cool. Um, set. Uh, one point uh, down the notch is her main is not translucent, but hey, uh, you work with what you get. So yes, um, 
on their website. If you take a look, see Luna is about forty dollars, uh, and who now? Derpy is out of stock, but she was at thirty dollars. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, the muffin thing is a magnetic muffin, or no? I think that's another thing for another set. But she gets a muffin. That's cool. Sunset is also at thirty dollars, and Bomb One is at thirty dollars too. So what? Um, Luna is the only one at forty. That could be because of her size. Do they mention the size here? Fifteen inch versus twelve. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, Derpy here is the fan favorite. So yeah, um, it it's it's a bit. So it's expected to be very popular, and I just noticed something. Her name is Derpy Hooves. Um, Hasbro usually don't really like to use the name Derpy Hooves. Uh, probably some people think it's a bit uh, demeaning and whatnot, like Derpy and so on. But uh, her, haha! <laughs> Here we go. Um, Derpy Hoof, also known as Muffins or Ditsy Do, was uh, was the given name. Sorry, was the given name Derpy Hoof by the show's fan uh, due to her cross-eyed Derpy. Uh, oh wow, there's a lot of. Okay, I'm not gonna go reading through that. That's uh, fan lore. Uh, Princess Luna, Nightmare Moon. Okay, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. I never noticed that. Oh yeah. But yeah, um, like I mentioned before, Hasbro doesn't really like using the word derpy. But I'm surprised that they okay this one. But now it's all G five, so that they, they don't really mind. I think. And yeah, uh, that's all of them. Wow, they they have all the stories, back lore and whatnot. I wonder if there's anything for Twilight. Yeah, there there is. Twilight has a love for learning. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yes, bon Bonbon, uh, Sweet Drop. Ah, okay. Known sharing treat makes sense. She was originally na a name, but gained the name Bon Bon by fans based off a cutie mark. It was told she was a former secret. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that that's pretty cool. Uh, let's move on to the next news. Next news: Chinese company. Sorry, Chinese company. Uh, you can pick up G4 for a collab. So a company in China called You Can has apparently hopped on the pony bandwagon with a huge promotion starting all the G sorry starring all G4 ponies on various bits of merchandising for people to pick up when shopping at their physical location. While traditional trick while traditionally a yogurt brand, they have a mix of everything from keychains to stickers. The promo goes from August 2nd to August 8th. Mmm, bye bye uh, promotion. When was this posted again? August, I'm slow on the uptake. But anyway, news is news. And the singles, uh, and, and the signage is pretty huge seen above. Alright, cool. Uh, boy, I, I'm, I'm slow. Anyway, uh, we see that they have canned drinks, they have merchandising, and it seems that, uh, from what I can tell, these two are bags to pick up your drinks. So that's cool. Let's see. Yeah, you got pins, you got merchandising, like the bags to pick up your drinks and so on. And you get display. Um, I'm not 100% sure what they uh, mostly sell, like they, they say frozen yogurt and so on, but what do they really um, sell? I, I, I don't speak Chinese, so I, I don't read Chinese, so I got no idea. But yeah, this, this seems pretty cool. So yeah, um, anything to add besides that? Can't say much, but yeah, um, for this one, uh, this is a bag to fit in one single drink. Uh, if you have a, let's just 
for example, for um, for example, if you have a Starbucks venti venti cup, uh, I I think venti is regular, so you you can put this in there in the in this bag, in this bag right here. I'm moving my cursor around, and then if you have two, uh, ideally you'll get the uh, what do you call this cardboard support thingy. You put it inside there. You have two drinks and you can carry it. So this is pretty cool. Um, I have a local store here that serves this kind of bag, and they're pretty cool. So yeah, moving on to more news. I think yeah, more more news, more news. China. Uh, returns with another event, a pony event, and easy suit. Yay! I've had a few people now say that China is basically experiencing the peak fandom that we had back during the season one to three days of G4, and these non-stop events happening, sorry, happening seems to hit. That apparently this one happened in Guangzhou, China, and was an official Hasbro event this time. Wow, that's fascinating. Uh, we've got a neat easy mascot over there, along with a bunch of new merchandise covering all the pony generations. Check it all below. This is the poster. Ah, oh, pretty. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, I'm just pondering what you're giving out. Okay, anyway, um, one of the few things that I noticed and am very interested is in the G Force ponies and their art style. Why are they doing that? Because when you take a look, see at Rainbow Dash, her mane is not her regular mane. It's a very stylistic mane, like. This is okay. This is Rainbow Dash, but it's not in her normal traditional sporty look. And if you take a look, see at Fluttershy, huh? It seems that we might be having a copy paste kind of thing. It works for Fluttershy. Granted that it's a bit different from her regular mane. But it works. But for Rainbow Dash, wow, that's that's something different. At least the standees are normal. Uh, yeah, I can't say much about that. But let's see. Um, we did for a while back. We did see some of the merchandising with the pony stuff. Um, and here they are. These are kind of plush bags, I think. Uh, some. Oh wow, this is pretty cool. A bag. Um, Kind of figures. Let's see the others, uh, and what these are blind blind boxes of uh, the pony things. You'll get a blind box of what um, the Rainbow Dash in plush. I I hope that this plush comes locally. So that uh, that's a big hope from my end, and you get more figures and whatnot, huh? Yeah, this this is pretty cool. From what I can tell, uh, it seems that China. Is doing the blind box, blind bag kind of toy event, where you randomly buy a set of box and get a random item. And I I don't know how you are, what's your personal preference or feeling about this kind of thing? Some people enjoy the gacha gacha system, but some people don't. And it's one of those things where, if done properly, you can create a community where, oh, I got this. Do you want to trade? And yay, uh, that's good. Let's trade, so we can collect the full set. But knowing how people are and knowing how ruthless the scalper market is, I don't think that's going to be the thing that's going to be happening. I I think it's just basically people are. Going to hoard and sell them on third-party sell sites, probably like、um, Carousel, eBay, whatever it is that you're using for your local location. So yeah, I 
I kind of like this. I, I wish I can get the pony plushy thingy like this one, but I, I, I don't know if it's going to be available on my end. But hey, China seems to be getting it, that's, and that's cool. And let's hop into the last news. So, new line of old school My Little Pony merchandise appears from Irregular Choice. For all the old school pony fans out there, a company called Irregular Choice has scooped. Sorry. Uh, had, had scooped up the old school pony license for a variety of new products. From handbags to shoes, all of them are covered in pony from the 80s and 90s. Check the selection below. You can pick them up on their website. I'm going to check them out on the website for a bit and see what we are getting. Okay, all of your pony dreams come true. Exciting, bra bra bra. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, this is possibly G1 to G2, probably, so 80s and 90s. So my interest level for this is pretty low. But looking at the selection that they have, they have, it's very, very random. Wow! I, I, ooh. Oh, why? Okay. Anywho, let's see what EQD gives. Same thing, but more focused. All right. Without the description. All right. So let's <laughs> let's take a look. See at what they have. Okay. So mind you, these are all. Uh, girl accessories and clothing so it might not speak to me as a guy but i can appreciate them so let's see this one castle celestia bag closer look i guess it's, oh, oh it's two hundred dollars <coughs> Oh. Oh, so it auto moves. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's see how it's inside. All right. I'll be honest with you guys. This is something that I would. Granted that this is the type of silly that I enjoy and like, so the chances of me getting it is about 50-50, but it could be that the price range, the color scheme, the overall look, like, this item is not for me, but hey, uh, if it's for you, awesome. Let, let's check out the second item. Rainbow Bridge is a boot. I, I guess it's going for the cowboy, cowgirl kind of aesthetic. And I'm guessing it works somehow. Yay. Um, okay, uh, this bag. Let, let's take a look. See. Born in a barn bag. Mm. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, so, this looks pretty interesting. Ah, ha, ha. So you have windows and doors to open to see the full. Um, that's small. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Honestly speaking, this is one of those cases where item is not for me. It is not for me. I, I guess it looks neat. There's a snow globe on the heel. Oh god. Probably this is nice, I guess. Looks looks good. This bag is okay. 
Groove Rose, I guess. Alright, <laughs> there's, there's nothing much I can comment on it because most of the item products are... Does that person have a beard? Really? I... I am... Mm -hmm. The, the scarf is okay, I guess. So, oh, okay. I'm I'm gonna stop here because, uh, yeah, yeah. Stop, stop, stopping. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna say that the accessories, the bags and whatnot, it's not for me. And if it's to your liking, that's awesome. The price is a bit too much for my blood, but hey, uh, if you have, a, if you're interested in them, it's there. I'm not. Under, I haven't heard of company irregular design. Was it? Uh, what was it called? Irregular, 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 uh, irregular choice. Yes. Um, I haven't heard of them before. This is the first time. And hey, it's. I, I guess if you like G1 ponies, that's awesome. If not, then no, I guess. So yeah. But anyway, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Oh boy. Aha. Uh -huh. So let's see. Uh, moving on to the next topic. Um, what have I been doing with my week or so? Whatever it is. Um, so. Moving on to what I have been doing, I have been doing a lot of work, a lot of work where I I'm just busy and so on. So um, yeah, I, I've been distracted with work and whatnot, and that's why the lack of pony news. I I did have three on standby, but just work has been compiling and keeping me busy and so on. But say hey, uh, I'm I'm back and. I'm gonna try and do it. I'm gonna give you pony news every month if possible. <clears throat> but anyway, um, other than that, keeping up with movies and stuff. Um, recent movie is basically Wolverine, Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, uh, that's the hottest uh, item show thingy going on. So yeah, I've seen that and that was pretty cool. Uh, nothing much other than. It's a cool show. If you're above the age range, you should go watch it. And if you're a Marvel fan, you should watch it too. If not, then it's all good. So let's wrap things. Up. Let, 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 I cannot speak. Let's wrap things up. So, um, uh, if you got any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at emissionsgmail.com. You can reach us on the Twitters or now known as X. Um, the show's account, X account is at the MBS show, and my personal account is at yeah, at Norman Sanzo. Yes. Oh boy. Uh, also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay current. And links are in the show notes. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous. I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and also Master of Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. Anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya. <laughs>